Hello and welcome back to SQL Explorer or SQL Explorer. In this video we're going to set up some basic criteria uh, for our SQL query so we can start to filter the results we get when we execute the query. Um, now we have started with a real simple one where we just had a one table and two fields and when we run it um, we get every record in that table returned and that's because we haven't applied any criteria to it. So let's do that so we can start filtering these results. Now I'm not going to edit this one. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate it and then I'm going to rename it to criteria number one and then let's go in here and we'll, we'll start messing with this one. So to apply criteria we're going to go to our search tab and what we need to do is specify the fields that we want to search in. So when we do a search in FileMaker, you know, we basically go into find mode and then, you know, type values into those fields. So in, in that way, we, we want to specify which fields we're going to be searching in for our query. So I'm going to start with company name here. And that's all I need to do at this point. And then I'm going to go back to review. And we see that the SQL Explorer has added a, uh, another line to our query saying where company name equals question mark. And a question mark is how SQL handles parameters. So when we actually execute the query in FileMaker, we will feed a value in known as an argument, and that will be used to execute the actual query. So how does that work? Well, let's, let's walk through it. So I've got a place down here for defining values in my query. I can't remember an actual company name, so I don't think I can do equal yet. But if I go less than, and then put the letter C in there, and then run this, we see that I get every company name less than C because they're text fields, so great. Um, and we see we've got Anderson Company. So I should be able to go in equal here, and then go Anderson Company. And if I run that, we get our results that way. And I can also say, hey, what about if it's greater than or equal to Anderson Company? And so we can start uh, you know, messing with our results that way. Now we do see the operator changes, but the, uh, the actual uh, question mark doesn't change. And that value will get fed in again when we execute the query itself. Well, what does that look like in FileMaker? Well, we can go ahead and use our copy as calculation function here. And if I go into the data viewer and paste that in, we see we get this, you know, here's the whole query in here. Here's the query itself. Here's the execute SQL statement. And we've got this section here called begin arguments and end arguments. And when, when you uh, copy and paste this, we're going to take the test value that you entered uh, in here and basically serve it as a placeholder. So when you paste this query into your own scripts or into your own calculations, you can use a, a variable here or a field or, or anything that will, you know, supply a dynamic value to the query itself. So having these, you know, the actual criteria broken out dynamically as a parameter in these SQL statements is really makes them quite powerful and quite portable. Um, and the, you know again the statement itself really doesn't change just the parameters themselves so that's kind of an introduction to uh, how to start playing around with quite uh, criteria in the SQL Explorer and you see again if we evaluate this it does run uh, so these um, copied calculations are uh, ready to go so uh, thank you very much and uh, we'll have do a few more videos on getting into some more complex criteria here next thanks very much